Hey everyone, hope you're having a, a good start to your weekend and your spring break. Um, it's uh, definitely a, a good time for a week-long uh, break or vacation um, as we get ready for the stretch run here these next uh, uh, month and a half, two months of school. Um, it's gone by fast, uh, but it's definitely nice to get a little break here uh, over this next week. Um, I wanted to I just update you on some things going on in athletics. Um, there's a lot of uh, cool things on the horizon. Um, one of the first things um, we'll just uh, talk briefly about is spring sports have started. Um, girls soccer, golf, and boys volleyball. Um, after spring break is really when uh, games start to get ramped up. Um, our golf team will be playing uh, right after spring break as well as our soccer team. Uh, boys volleyball the schedule still being finalized so um, i hope to have a little more detail on that soon uh, i know i made a post about the boys volleyball schedule a few days ago uh, and then uh, right after that um, we had some changes so um, we'll uh, update you as soon as we can on when the first game will be um, but boys volleyball should be very exciting this year so um, i hope to have that schedule uh, the the revised schedule out uh, here soon. Um, really cool. Uh, we've gotten finalized our uh, sports banquet, the end of the year sports banquet. Um, so it will be May 5th um, at Southbrook Church um, at six o'clock. Uh, that's a Thursday night. So uh, mark your calendar, block off that um, time space so uh, you can be there. It's uh, This will be a business uh, formal dress code um, so dress uh, sharp and um, come looking uh, clean and um, with your suits dresses um, business um, professional dress so um, we'll give out some awards um, and we'll have a, a really nice relaxed uh, fun time to celebrate everything that has gone on this year in athletics so I really look forward to that um, uh, parents, coaches, uh, players, um, and younger siblings as well um, are invited. Um, it's going to be a really good night um, of fellowship and fun um, to celebrate. So please be sure to mark that on your calendar. Um, and we look forward to our banquet on May 5th. Um, coming up here in a couple weeks on March 18th uh, is another serve day. Uh, we're partnering with Serve Unity um, to uh, allow our athletes to once again um, serve our community. Um, we know that uh, we just got finished with Love Boldly um, for the school and that was uh, a great week. Um, so our athletes will once again get another opportunity to serve. Um, I'm pulling up the details. Um, it'll be 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Friday. Um, we'll have food, we'll have music, um, and of course we will um, pack uh, some bags that will be given out at Mental Health Awareness Day in Monroe on uh, March 19th, uh, so the day after. Um, items to bring um, just for donation purposes, um, a couple boxes of crayons or colored pencils. Um, to, um, you know, kind of small items, whether it's bubbles or a small puzzle, something like that. Um, a couple of uh, snack items and um, small water bottle cases. Um, this will help um, in terms of the items that we get to pack. Uh, so please um, uh, just try to remember that or write that down. Um, our spring sports teams um, are encouraged to come. But also, if there's any other athletes, fall athletes, winter athletes that want to participate as well, they're more than welcome. Um, it's going to be uh, a really fun day to serve and to, uh, once again, just have fellowship uh, with each other. Our next announcement is we are having a pretty cool opportunity that um, our uh, cheer coaches are putting on. Um, it is a tumbling and hip hop clinic. Um, this will be March 18th as well in the gym from 3 to 5 p.m. Um, 
the cost is uh, $25. Uh, this is open to uh, first through 12th grade uh, students. Um, we'll be splitting them up um, in terms of ages um, come camp day. Um, so that way the younger kids will be with the younger kids and the older kids will, will be with, with each other. So um, in terms of uh, the cost is 25 for one um, participant. Um, if you have two, so if you have two children, um, it's $5 off the second uh, child and then $10 off if you have three children that um, are participating in the clinic. Um, uh, it's been posted and also emailed out um, the flyer with more details as to um, what the clinic uh, is about. Um, so this will be a really new uh, fun opportunity for um, students um, to come and learn some tumbling, um, some hip hop dancing. Um, again, this is open to non Arbor Brook students as well. So if you have friends, uh, homeschool friends or uh, friends from from other schools, um, they're more than welcome to attend. Um, the sign up link uh, was emailed out. Um, it's also right now on our story on Instagram. Um, if you uh, miss the email, uh, just let me know. Please email me um, and I'll send you the sign up link for the Tumbling and Hip Hop uh, Clinic on March 18th, uh, 3 to 5 p.m. Um, then another camp, uh, Nikki Baldwin, our girls soccer coach, um, she is going to lead um, a youth soccer skills camp. Uh, so there's two dates. Um, one is Friday, April 8th. The other date is Friday, April 22nd. Now these are two separate camps. Um, you're more than welcome um, to attend both. Um, each camp is $25. Um, and then if you have a second uh, you know, child that um, comes or you know, a sibling, um, it'd be, it'll be $15 for the second sibling. Um, this is open to kindergarten through sixth grade. Um, again, this also is open to non Arbor Brook students as well. So again, if you have any uh, friends um, from other schools or homeschooled that would like to attend, um, they're more than welcome. Um, that sign up link uh, was also emailed out. But again, if you didn't get it, uh, please email me um, and I'll be more than happy to send you the sign up genius link um, so you can sign up and then we'll have registration um, the, the morning of camp when you, when you arrive. Um, and that camp is at South Brook Church, both uh, April 8th and 22nd, um, 1030 to 12 um, at South Brook Church. Next, um, we have, um, can't say, can't say the whole plan yet, um, but we've got um, some pretty neat plans for our lower school students. Um, uh, beginning in the fall. Um, uh, we posted a, a little teaser uh, on Instagram um, a few days ago. Uh, we're trying to finalize um, some details before we can officially announce it, but I think this is going to be um, really something that is going to help us um, not only now but into the future um, for our lower school students being involved in athletics. So uh, be on the lookout uh, for that announcement, um, but it's going to be something that I think is going to be a mainstay um, for our school and for our athletics program. So um, hopefully going to hammer out those details soon so we can go ahead and announce the, um, the initial plan for that. Um, also, we are um, in discussions, we're talking about um, how we can incorporate ministry more into our athletics program. Um, it's been something we've, we've been thinking about throughout the year. Um, we we want to connect more with our, our athletes um, on a personal and spiritual level. Um, so um, I'm hoping soon as well, uh, we'll be able to um, announce a, a, a a neat little plan that we're that we're um, hoping to start um, 
here soon. Uh, we don't know yet um, if this will start this semester or if it'll start um, in the fall, but um, being able to involve ministry uh, more uh, into our athletics program is um, something that has been um, on our mind. And I think uh, we've got uh, a pretty cool blueprint uh, to do that. So um, also be on the lookout for that um, in the coming weeks. Um, of course, you know, the biggest reason for that is, you know, simply that's, that's, that's what our calling is to do, you know, as believers, um, as a Christian school, um, we, we want to minister to, um, our students. So it's just, um, finding new ways to, to do that, um, and to do that through athletics. Um, finally, another teaser, I guess you can say, um, we are uh, getting close to being able to announce some summer camps that we'll have. Um, these will be for both uh, lower school and upper school students. Um, again, we're just in the planning phase, um, but hopefully soon we'll announce uh, dates for our summer camps. Um, we're really excited about these um, just to keep you know our students involved in developing um, both our, our uh, players who play for the school um, and, and our, um, our lower school students as well. So um, we will be coming out with some announcements within the next few weeks to a month um, about ministry, about summer camps, um, about our lower school, our big plan for, uh, for them starting in the fall. So stay tuned. Um, and also come out support your Falcons uh, this spring. Um, again, we got girls soccer. They play their home games at Chestnut Square Park. Um, our golf team, uh, they play their uh, home matches at Stonebridge Golf Club. And then um, our uh, boys volleyball team, um, they'll be having home games as well. So be sure to go to arborbrooksports.org, um, check out the calendar page, um, and you'll see um, when and where and what time all of our games are for this spring. Um, as always, if you have questions, uh, please send me an email. Um, and uh, can't wait to uh, see you and uh, make, some, make some pretty cool announcements here over the next few weeks.